One lesson I learned quickly was to take control of your own career path, particularly when it came to administration issues, do it yourself, or in many cases, it didn't get done. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaniqua Dupree and I am your Navy transition coach here to help you to navigate life both in and out of the Navy. So recently I asked a lot of reservists what their experience is or what life is like um, as a reservist compared to their civilian life. And I have an array of different responses and I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. Um, just read it straight from here so you guys can get a better understanding of what life is kind of like in the Navy Reserves. So there is a group on Facebook that is full of reservists that um, I always ask questions, right? I always ask questions for them because I, I don't have all of the Navy Reserve experiences. There are some things that I haven't done yet and other people have. So why not come on here and share those things with you guys so you can make an informed decision or you can just understand what the Navy Reserves is like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read off a lot of what is on here. So you get it straight from the mouth of the people, okay? All right, let's see. So there's one person who responded and I'm gonna share this first because this is like one of not very many, um, not the greatest responses. Okay, I hope you guys are following. <laughs> um, but this is her real life experience. And so she says, with eight years active, with eight years active, I went into the reserves. After a 15 year break, I might as well have been a new recruit as there was major changes which didn't match my expectations. I may, it may have served me well in contrast to individuals who transitioned directly um, after active duty. I saw many prior service members get frustrated with the difference in tempo, leadership, and personnel and career guidance. One lesson I learned quickly was to take control of your own career path, particularly when it came to administration issues do it yourself or in many cases it didn't get done now i share with you guys very often you must take responsibility for your own career there's a lot of flexibility y'all already know <laughs> if you've been watching me um for the last year or the last six months and you've been watching my videos i always say you're responsible for yourself for your own career you have a lot of flexibility but that also means you have a lot of responsibility okay so um, that was one person's experience and interestingly enough most people's experiences is not bad it's not you know hard and remember this topic is specifically about civilian life versus reserve life but people shared a lot more than I expected so another person says they are the same reserves you don't do much unless you want to you want lots of orders you'll find them if you want to be a weekend warrior and only do drills and the once a year at orders you can do that it really comes down to your tricare it really comes down to do you want tricare insurance or not that's so funny <laughs> that's so funny that they said that um, because a lot of people join the Navy Reserves for insurance because civilian insurance, OMG, it is very, very expensive. Um, okay, here's another one. Almost 18 years reserves here. I just got back from a nine and a half month USNS EPF deployment in the mid. I think that's Mediterranean Sea. I don't know for sure. Um, but USNS is a Navy ship, um, does a Navy ship, but like, uh, I want to say it's, um, mm, I don't know. Let me not even guess. Anyway, moving on. They said, and it was an experience that only the Navy reserves could truly give me being a prior contractor and now GS admin has helped me tremendously as a YNC. That's a yeoman chief. 
um, with learning processes that we don't handle as a neighbor, as a reservist, but might while on orders. And I learn things on orders that I can possibly use on the civilian side. It's definitely a balance. Being in the Hampton Roads area helps with local unit assignments and easy travel to drills. I joined at 26 and do not regret my decision. It does get difficult at times and a lot can be asked of you. Boundaries are set and time management is a must. I really appreciate this person for sharing this because it's so true. Like there are things that you can learn in the Navy Reservist that can help you in your civilian career, right? And there's the vice versa. Some things that you learn and understand and know that's a part of your civilian job that you never thought would be actually be useful for your um, for your reservist job. Um, I don't know if you know if you've watched the video a long time ago when I shared that the Navy reserves um, will allow you to take. <clears throat> sorry, y'all. Will allow you to um, use Navy Cool. It will allow you to use your experience as a civilian to get Navy Cool certificates, right? So it's essentially Navy Cool is essentially certifications um, that you can get, right? But it's not just for the Navy rating or Navy job but also what you do as a civilian. And I thought that was really cool that they offered that to Navy Reservist. Um, this is what someone said, <laughs> someone put here. It's a GIF. So this is what, the, this is their response. Oh goodness, can you see it? This is their response right here, right? So they're essentially they're saying, uh, I love it, but it's definitely a juggling act. Um, okay, so this is from someone who recent, like who, not recently necessarily, but who enlisted right out of high school. So if you're someone who is um, coming straight from school, whether it's college, whether it's high school, or you're just a straight up civilian, this might be helpful for you. So this person says, as someone who enlisted right out of high school, and chose going reserves from the beginning, it's been a lot of questions and not too many answers. My career in the Navy just started and I've been through a journey of discovering new things every day. Balancing school and military is a challenge, but I'm waiting to see what the, what's the outcome. I'm glad she shared that. That is a real honest like response, right? Um, I come on here and I think I'm mostly in favor of the Navy Reserves, but it's so great to, to see other people's perspectives, um, and give you guys, because, you know, so many people, um, so many people watch my content from all sorts of backgrounds, people who are trying to become a citizen in the United States, people who, um, have a family, people who are leaving active duty, people who are coming back on active duty after a long break in service. Like there are so many different types of people that watches my content. And I'm glad that she shared her experience um, and the realities of it because I, I agree with her. <laughs> okay. Another person said um, they work 10 to 12 hours a day, then go home to deal with emails evals, quarter awards, maps, maps, um, requests, incident muster and requests, etc., etc. So what they're essentially saying is they go to do their job, right? They're at civilian job. But then when they get off, they have to do Navy stuff, right? A long time ago, I told you guys, one thing about the Navy reserves is you don't always just do Navy Reserve stuff during drill weekend. Like the more rank you have, usually the more responsibilities you have, right? The, if you want a, a good, decent eval, you're gonna end up doing some things outside of your paid Navy time to get it done, right? 
and you have to be committed to um you got to be committed to the navy reserves if you're gonna be in a in a, a, a leadership role i i have to say you you're gonna have to but they're essentially just saying you know i go do my job but okay i still got another job to do because i'm responsible for other people's careers i got to get some things done okay so let's see another person says it all depends on your situation i work full time for several nrc's <clears throat> nrc's near me doing funeral honors it's a wonderful job good for your navy career and financially is better than my civilian job i used to have i flex drill out of town and take a few sets of month-long orders a year and never have problems taking off civilian wise i live on and run a ranch a farm and have family always willing to help out when i'm gone that is so cool like that is really cool they they literally use the navy as their full-time job what so you don't necessarily have to take orders uh long-term orders but like this person says they do funeral honors depending on where you live so for example for me i live in georgia so i have multiple states around me multiple nrc's around me um, that I can go and do funeral honors for so for example there's Augusta Georgia there is Greenville South Carolina I think I'm saying that right there is Nashville Tennessee there is some spots oh Birmingham Alabama um I don't think Florida is close enough but based on where I live I have multiple NRCs that I can go to and do funeral honors with um, and this is what a lot of people do to prevent from needing a civilian job. And the, the great thing is that the Navy also provides mileage. So if I live in Georgia, but I want to do a funeral over in South Carolina, the Navy's going to pay me for the mileage. And they're also going to pay me for the funeral itself. So, and then on top of that, they said they go on order. So essentially they created a, a a system that works for them so that they can get the income that they need to supply their lifestyle and i think that is really great these are the things that i find so um powerful about being in the navy reserves the, uh, like specifically the flexibility um another person said i enjoyed picking up orders in the reserves got to see some cool places i enjoy my time more now as a travel nurse three shifts a weekend or three shifts a week give me more time to sightsee so this is the person who's a travel nurse as well as a reservist that is so cool um and then there's one more that i wanted to share now this is fairly long i'm going to say this is from a person who is retired um, a retired Navy reservist. Um, they actually joined a long, long time ago, like super long ago. Um, and they spent 30 years in the reserves. And I want to read this to you so you can get a futuristic view of what things could be like for you. Okay. Here we go. And this is going to be the last one that I read. Joined the U.S. Navy reserves in 1969 as a two by six to avoid the draft spent two years on a ship and couldn't wait to get out did my two years of mandatory drilling after active duty hated being in the reserves and couldn't wait to get out funny thing happened after i completed my obligation i realized i like wearing the uniform and being a sailor i ended up doing 30 years and being recalled for one year for desert shield storm sweep as I was finishing my recall, I completed my 20 good years for retirement. At 20, I finally thought about my Navy, re my Navy retirement. I ended up doing 10 more and retiring in 2000, in the year 2000. Still, I didn't realize what a good move I made by staying in. Still, 
had I still had 10 years of no pay, no association with the reserves and missed not being a drilling reservist. When I hit 60, my wife no longer had to work for our medical and I got a pretty decent paycheck. For all, <laughs> I'm just gonna say what's written, for all the whiners out there that complain about all the time you had to work for free, the service wasn't for you. I never even thought about the paycheck. It was just an added extra. I enjoyed almost every day as I served. It's up to you to make rank and do the extras. You'll get nothing out of me except positive, uh, except positivity about the Navy reserves. I'm probably, probably a rarity doing 30 years as a reservist, but I knew the program well, and if they needed extra, even as a second class, I volunteered. I can only speak from 1969 to 2000, but I would do it all over again. As far as a civilian job, I owned and operated a music store for 50 years while doing 30 as a reservist. My vacations every year were mostly my two weeks AT. Inconvenient, yes, but I put my priority towards my service. Looking back, I wouldn't change a thing in either profession. The Navy reserves or the Navy and reserves are a different character in today's world. I'm sure I would have a different feeling today with today's Navy. Just old school. I loved every day I was able to put on that uniform. That was really inspiring. I really love that he took the, th the time to share that um, so that, you know, people like you can understand and, and see what's possible. Um, the Navy Reserves, one, is not for everybody, right? Um, but I do definitely think that if you gave it a chance, you just might surprise yourself, right? And you just might find out how you can use it to benefit you in your career. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.